Hello everyone, I'm Stephen Lewinson, and you're listening to Lewinson's Literary Podcast, where, where we go over what's hot, what's new, and what's current, and what you should be keeping up with in your ever-changing literary world. Later in the show, I'm going to go over what I've been keeping up with, my recommendations of all that, all the things you tune in for, but right now, we have a very special guest, Mr. Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar, how are you doing? Doing well, doing well. I, uh, I'm excited to be here, Stephen. Edgar, you have a big following listening on the show tonight, and we haven't heard from you in a while. What have you been up to? She's been, she's been doing me, you know. I uh, took some time away from my work, uh, and uh, just getting to know myself, and uh, doing better than ever. Yeah. When you say taking some time away from your writing, you mean you've been dead? Well, well, now it's been very well documented. On October 7, 1849, Baltimore, Maryland, you died. If you want to narrow it down to one specific element, yes, my heart stopped beating, but... I think the listeners would be very interested to hear more about that. It's not that much to tell, you know? I don't know. I haven't ever died. I suppose. Well, but I think that, you know, it's extreme. There's been extremely like, few amount of people that have actually died, like had their heart stop beating and then come back to life, let alone have their heart stop beating for 166 years and then come back to life. I just don't really see the point of focusing on death, you know? I just... Can't we talk about... That's the thing, though. Like, you're Edgar Allan Poe. You were one of the first, like, horror writers. That's what you do. Death. I suppose... I just... I feel like there's so much more to life than that, though. I, I mean... I, do you know what I mean? You don't seem like the Edgar that we're used to. It, you've seen different since 1849. What have you been up to? I mean, I, uh, I'm definitely more well-rested, for sure. Um, I feel more one with the earth. Like, like I'm just, you know, I, I feel a part of life instead of me just, like, moving through it. Uh, you know, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? I'd be well-rested, too, if I was dead for 166 years. But, you know, let me change the subject, because you don't seem like the classic... Edgar, that we've all come to know and love, in a sense. Like, the, the Edgar that, we've come, that we know used to be very descriptive, and you seem to have a very, very hard time with that. And it's, I think it's more than it's just 166 years of you just being six feet under. So, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, it's like... Like, I have the thought, like, they're, like, they're there, but it, it's, like, like, it's all up there. But it's been harder lately, like, I've been saying things, and it's, it sounds right to me. Uh, do, you, do you know what I mean? Maybe brain dead a little bit? Well, I... <sighs> what? What is this? That... What I was trying to get at is, is that it's that that it's, that's not mine. Though. Have you been smoking cannabis the whole time? Say, what I was trying to get at, uh, I've never seen that before. Ladies and gentlemen, this just in from Lewinson's Literary Podcast. If you're wondering why Edgar Allan Poe is, at a very hard t- is acting strange on the show, it's not because he's been dead for 166 years. He's been smoking the marijuana. I, you know, I, like, I'm taking this. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, check out my new poem, uh, titled The Ravens, coming out in November. Your poem's been out for 170 years. Uh, peace in the Southeast. We had a civil war. It happened. Where, where did you go? I heard there was cake. <laughs>